Hello and welcome back. I'm Melinda Bigley and today I wanted to show you guys real quickly um, something that you can do on your baby lock machine. So I got a question that um, there is a screensaver. So if you put this on a mode that allows uh, the screensaver to come up, which it will do, um, you can vary the timing of that and um, go to eco mode and all that stuff. The question I got is how to put in your own pictures into that. So you're going to go to settings, this little um, piece of paper up top, and you're going to page five. This is on the Solaris. Now, right here, you've got screensaver. In this section here, you can decide how long your machine is going to be on before the screensaver comes on, and that goes all the way up to how long? 60 minutes. So you can have between a minute and 60 minutes. Um, as far as how long it takes the machine to go into screensaver mode. Um, the default is five. I really haven't messed with it because frankly, I don't care um, how long it takes. I'm either sewing or it's gonna be off, so I'm not real worried about that. But what you'll see is that little part right there. Okay, so if you go to default, and it's actually starts in default, the default is default, if that makes sense. Um, because I haven't shut my machine off. But you've got these pictures here, okay? And you'll, you'll notice if you look at these, these are the five that you've seen on your machine. Now, if I wanna customize that, I'm gonna go into customize. I'm gonna take a blank USB stick and I'm going to load, and I'm not doing this right now, but you'll, all you need to do is load your USB stick with your photographs onto your machine. They're gonna appear if memory serves. And then you can either, if you've already got them loaded, you can either just push change or you can delete them and, and get rid of them. Obviously there's, um, so if I'm adding, I can go to my USB stick and it's gonna say there's no USB stick. If I wanna change it, let's say you already have them in here and you can't remember how to do that. You're gonna hit change, then you're going to go to, if you've got your computer attached, you're going to hit that one. But if you're going to go to USB stick because you've loaded your photos on that and it can only have the pictures that you're loading onto it. You can't have other things for it to have to figure out. OK, it also needs and this is the part I'm not sure about. It needs to be below a certain number. So your um, your picture can't be super high res. And, I, and again, again, I can't remember what that number is. I'm sure it's in the. Um, in the manual somewhere. Um, but when you put, when you click on that, it's going to go to that USB stick and you'll be able to click on the picture and load it into that. And then um, you're gonna say, okay, once you load all five pictures and you're gonna say, okay. And once you go back to your screen and it goes to your screensaver, it will have your pictures in instead of, um, instead of the ones that it come on the machine. Okay, so hopefully that helped you guys. Um, probably need to watch that again because just follow the steps. And um, I'll probably do another video where I actually load pictures, but it's exactly the same as what I just did. You're just going to load it, push change, and then hit your, uh, hit your USB button and you'll get those photos to choose from and you'll select them, okay? So I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. And if you haven't joined So Blessed Quilting and Embroidery, please, please do so. We'll see you guys very soon. Have a wonderful night. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.